Potter is a great play, is a classic play, because I was able to see the story through a completely different lens. You can't do that unless it's a really, really well-written, beautifully layered, complex story. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with the producers of the play, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, now running at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. The producers are Colin Callender and Sonia Friedman. Welcome to you both. Hi. Very good to meet you. I know you've been asked this a thousand times, but whose idea was it to make the Harry Potter story into a, a stage work, a play? There was a light bulb moment where we both established at the same time that the stage rights were available. Basically, we just looked at each other and said, right, let's go. J.K. Rowling had retained the stage rights. She had been approached by lots of people to do, to do musicals, to do stadium shows, but she turned everything down. And when we heard that the rights were available, we sat down and talked about what, what we could do and what a play could look like. We were interested in the internal, we were interested in, in Harry Potter as a dad, what that might be, exploring that. Our original idea was much smaller in scale than the final show. And in fact, that was the conversation we, we had with J.K. Rowling in the early stages about how you can, te you can tell great stories sitting on just on a, on, a, on a chair. That was the thing that sparked her interest. We said that we were interested in the sort of emotional and psychological landscape of Harry and how did this boy who lived under the stairs grow up to be an adult and to be a father. And we talked a lot about family with her. Talked about fathers and the idea of a flawed father. How does a great public figure um, also be a great dad if that person hadn't had parenting themselves or good parenting. It was surreal to be sitting with J.K. Rowling talking about the themes of her, her novels. She left us with a very clear set of directions, which is if you can find a writer and a, and a director who I can collaborate with and, and explore this further, Let's, let's take it to the next stage. It seems to me that you found yourself a dream team. I mean, John Tiffany's one of the m most successful directors working in the world today, I would have thought. Enormous success. It's been disgustingly fun to do together. We've had a wonderful time. Have you? Has it's, it been It's hard? been extraordinary, actually. No. John I've and had Jack. much, 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 yeah, much have. harder shows than this. <laughs> and much, I much more. I won't ask you to name them. No, I won't. <laughs> One of the great joys of Harry is thinking back to that moment when we both looked at each other and said, wow, there's a play here. And knowing now that it's playing in London, it's playing in Broadway, it's playing in, in Melbourne, it's about to open in, it's going to open in San Francisco. It's, it's, it's an, an extraordinary sense of uh, accomplishment on the one hand and joy on the other. It's a phenomenon and the theatrical experience of people who walk into the theatre for the first time in our first wave, it was about 70-ish percent were, were first-time theatre goers, maybe 65 percent. And then they all, many of those went on to see other plays. It's proper, proper investment in the future because those audiences, they're the holy grail for a producer. You know, we've introduced them to great theatre and they're going on to see other theatre and it's very, very satisfying. What do you think Harry Potter's about, this play? In the most general sense, I think it's about love and loss and grief. Um, and how to come to terms with um, who you are. I mean, increasingly over time watching the play, I've come to believe the play is about growing up and it's about finding who you are in the world um, and coming to terms with that and accepting yourself. Thank you and congratulations on, I say this with all sincerity, a really impressive piece of theatre. I was on cloud nine when I came out. Oh, that's great. great, thank you so much.